Hi, I'm Dr. Skip Nelson, Deputy Director of the Office of Pediatric Therapeutics of the Food and Drug Administration. And I'm here today talking with Dr. Greg Riemann, Associate Director of the Office of Hematology and Oncology Products, about pediatric product development for the treatment of childhood cancer. Welcome, Greg. Thanks, Skip. Good to be here. So, Greg, let's start off by talking about the importance of safety and efficacy information about the products for the use in children with cancer. Well, I think uh, it's important uh, given that uh, cancers are life-threatening disease, um, and uh, despite that, uh, there really is uh, a mandate uh, for the agency uh, to provide uh, evaluation, thorough evaluation of both efficacy uh, and safety for these drugs, uh, which have uh, significant uh, potential toxicities uh, when used incorrectly or inappropriately. Mm -hmm. So we've had legislation in place for the last 15 or so years that have tried to stimulate pediatric product development called the Best Pharmaceuticals for Children Act, where companies can get six months of marketing exclusivity for doing pediatric trials. How well has that worked for pediatric cancer? Well, BPCA has worked uh, and has worked well in uh, contributing uh, to uh, information, pediatric-specific uh, information uh, for product uh, labeling. It's also resulted uh, in the approval of, uh, of several drugs. Uh, and I think uh, we now have uh, uh, opportunities uh, to uh, uh, make BPCA work even better for children uh, with cancer. Now, uh, I think you're referring to some of the changes that were made in the FDA Safety correct, and Innovation correct. Act. Could you talk a little bit about those sure, changes? Sure, sure. As, as part of uh, FDASIA, uh, the Safety and uh, Innovation uh, Act, um, there, there is a, actually a requirement now for companies uh, to um, early in the uh, development of a product uh, for an adult cancer indication uh, to think about um, and to communicate uh, with the agency mm -hmm. about uh, a pediatric plan for uh, evaluation uh, and also a requirement for the agency to respond within a uh, specific uh, time period. Mm -hmm. And that is now at the end of phase two, which Correct. moves it earlier. Much earlier, right. Yeah. Now, um, FIDASIA also involved a uh, new voucher program which was modeled after the Creating Hope Act. Exactly. Um, what impact do you think that may have? I think uh, that uh, has potential for impact, uh, particularly for products that might be uh, developed uh, uh, exclusively or nearly exclusively for childhood cancers. Um, it's a rare condition, fortunately. Uh, it's a small market, um, and uh, for uh, uh, special uh, incentives uh, are required. So I think uh, in, in that setting, um, uh, the uh, priority voucher uh, uh, system uh, resulting from the Creating Hope Act uh, could have uh, a real impact. Mm -hmm. So this voucher gives companies the ability to ask for a six-month review instead of a nine-month review, so it's effectively uh, shortening the timeline. Right, shortening right. the timeline. The act also um, allowed for the sale of those Correct. vouchers, which may help in its value. Correct. How important is that? I think, I think that's very important because generally the companies that would uh, develop uh, these uh, uh, products uh, for a small market uh, are very small companies, uh, and these uh, priority vouchers would probably be of uh, much greater importance mm -hmm. uh, for a larger company with a big uh, blockbuster drug uh, and therefore bring some financial benefit uh, to the small companies who sell them. Mm -hmm. Now, in your position, are you beginning to see interest on the part of uh, industry for developing products for pediatric cancer? Yes, we are. We are there's actually uh, two uh, significant products uh, in development now that are exclusively for pediatric mm -hmm. cancer. Uh, more exciting, I think, uh, is the fact that uh, drugs, uh, new targeted drugs that are being developed for uh, adult cancer indications, companies are coming in with uh, uh, pediatric plans or at least proposed pediatric plans to evaluate them uh, much er earlier in the uh, timeline of development. Great. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Skip. And, and thank you for listening. Again, the FDA is supportive of September as National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and we look forward to continuing to work on improving products and developing products uh, for the treatment of pediatric cancer.